Shout to somebody else and tell them, we know we under grace. Grace simply means not by my works. I'm going to teach this whether y'all get upset or not. not by, I'm not saved by my works. I'm not righteous by my works. We are only declared the righteousness of God because of what Jesus did. The work of the cross makes you righteous, not what you do. So we know we under grace. If we weren't under grace, these folk that commit adultery, we'll stone them. When the last time you been to a stoning? Why, we ain't under the law. I'm not trying to be funny. When they caught that woman in adultery, Jesus introduced grace at that moment. For they said stone her to death because she was caught in the very act. And the law of Moses deems that she be stoned. Jesus said, let him without sin cast the first stone. And they all dropped them and walked off. Jesus said, have any condemned you? He said, neither do I. But listen to grace. He said, go and sin no more. He didn't tell her to go back to the man she just got caught with. No, you can't go back to him. You got to walk the straight and narrow. And he wasn't telling her to be flawless or to be perfect. He was telling you can't. you got to stop practicing that. There has to be a change in your life. Each of my pastor, I can't do it. God will empower you to do it. And ain't nobody in here living saved on their own. Ain't nobody in here living save on their own. If God release his grace, his mercy, you'll get drunk tonight. You'll get high tonight. You'll be a red roof and it won't be with your wife. I'm trying to keep it real so you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. So yeah, grace is there, but we are not to make grace an excuse to sin. But see, this is what folk doing in our day and time. They don't want to tell nobody that they're a sinner no more. Come on. Know that they turn the grace of God into lewdness. Now, here's the second thing that they do. Now, now, now what did I tell y'all they crept into? Y'all say with me, please. What did I tell y'all they crept into? See, they didn't creep in the club. They in the church with this mess. Teaching these things, saying these things. So every now and then God gonna send a message to clean it up. <laughs> Notice what else they doing. In somebody shout, in the church. In the church. And deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus who? Right. Take neighbor day up in the church, in the church. Denying, denying that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. You know they backing off of that now. I say, you know they backing off of that now. Why? Because there's just certain stuff you can't get away with if you follow the teachings of Jesus. You can't do it. The only way these folk going to continue to sin, they're going to have to change this right here. They're going to have to alter a whole lot of this. And they're already doing it. You hear me? Churches are altering their bylaws and everything. Their belief system is changing. Why? They're trying to accommodate people's sin. But see, if you go by the teachings of Jesus and the apostles, you know it's certain stuff we got to let go. We got to lay this stuff aside. He said, come out from among them. Be ye separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will what? Receive you. Some of y'all act like you mad at me for preaching that. I mean, that's how you look. Some of you looking at me like, oh, I just wish he wouldn't have said all that tonight. Go to First John. We finna close. Telling you, man, this stuff is so serious now. Preachers don't preach this. I believe God gonna hold them accountable. Amen. And see, I'm just dealing with this because we're in resurrection season. And so we need to really recognize enemies of the cross. Next time you hear somebody talking, you're gonna know whether or not they're an enemy of the cross when they open up their mouth. To my yeah, well, Jesus, yeah, he, he was a wonderful man. Wonderful man. Uh oh, hold up. Hold up, got a problem. Got a problem with your church, got a problem with your group. Jesus wasn't an ordinary man. Well, he was an awesome prophet. Jesus was more than an awesome prophet. Come on, somebody. Jesus is Lord. Listen to me. He's so much Lord that this is what the, this is what the word says of him. That every knee, every tongue is going to bow or going to confess that Jesus is what? Everyone. All these ones out here spreading all this, this crazy man. They're going to have to admit Jesus is Lord. Do y'all feel me? Yeah. Notice first John, two more scriptures, we're gonna be done with it. Remember when yeah, Philip said, Let us show us the Father. So see, understand Jesus is God. 
Jesus is God. How many recognize that tonight? 100% God. Amen? Amen? And tell your neighbor anything, anything. Or, anybody or anybody who contradicts that, contradicts that. is Antichrist. Antichrist. Guess what? That means if that's mama, mama just wrong. If that daddy, daddy just wrong. If that sister, brother, cousin, uncle, it don't matter. Listen to me, saints. I'm preaching this because it's this serious in our day and time. It's this serious. It's this serious. Note that 1 John, two more scriptures and y'all can be done. 1 John 2 and 22. Who is a liar but he who denies, I mean 1 John 2, 22. Who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus is the who? Who is a liar but he that denies that Jesus is the who? Right. So if a person denies that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, that person is a what? Right. Listen to me. I don't care how educated they are. I don't care how long they say they've been saved. That person is a liar. Now, if there is an organization who has its origin in that belief, that organization is false. I don't care how much good wisdom they put out. Look how much knowledge they claim to have. If at the core of your belief, Jesus is not Lord, that's antichrist. You against Christ or Jesus. Am I right? Oh, Lord. Notice there. Whoever, no, 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 no. He is antichrist who denies the father and the what? The father and the who? So you can't have the father without the son. Some of y'all, you ain't going to get the significance of this message until you see a couple of more things manifesting in this dark world that we're living in. Saints, y'all don't realize how dark the world is getting. In my opinion, the world is in one of its darkest hours. Listen, and it won't get lighter. Things are going to get worse. Much, much, much worse. You ain't seen half of what's going to come on this earth as far as tragedies. Violence. Saints, you, you, it, we, it, it's going to get tough. That's the only way I can. It's going to. And these preachers that tell saints, you're going to be raptured out. You won't see no tribulation. What? Saints, this thing getting serious. When folks start denying God openly, denouncing the word of God, taking the word of God out of things, no longer let God's word be foundation. It's going to get tough. It's going to get rough. And this reason God going to start sending word like this. Because only the strong going to survive. Only those that really know when they are trying to be deceived and they cannot go with it. Those are the ones going to. Because everybody else, Satan is going to deceive, saints. They're going to be caught up in something. May say the church. But because of their core belief, God ain't got nothing to do with that. Are y'all feeling me? This is the reason doing resurrection season is so important that I declare the truth to you so that you'll know truth. You'll know how to judge things. That's the first way we judge things. If you want to know what anything is about as far as from a religious standpoint, first thing you want to ask, who is God? Is Jesus God? Is Jesus the only way to the Father? And if they got anything, listen to me. Y'all be surprised of mega preachers who no longer openly admit that Jesus is the only way to heaven. If I told you some of that name, you'd be shocked. You'd say, Pastor, he didn't say that. But I heard him say it. This is how dangerous the hour is. And they said it out of pressure to be in fellowship with everybody. But see, being a Christian is about to go back to the days of Acts when it wasn't glorious to be a Christian. See, it's popular to be saved now. Back in the New Testament, at the time Jesus died, it was a terrible thing to call yourself a Christian. But now it's popular. Why? Because most Christians don't water down the word. But if we start to straighten things out, 
through the assistance of God, you, you're, going, you're going to see some things in these next hours. This, this message is prophetic. Notice, yeah, 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 I'm speaking prophetic tonight. He that hath an ear, let him hear. Let him hear. I'm, I'm speaking prophetic tonight. First John 2 and 22, who is a liar but he denies that Jesus Christ? He is antichrist. Who denies the Father and the Son? Whoever, somebody shout whoever. whoever. Somebody shout whoever. whoever. Now, whoever means everybody or anyone is included. Is that right? Is that what whoever means? Whoever means black, white, tall, short, smart, dumb. I'm trying to break this thing down. Whoever. Because some of us are like this. We believe certain stuff that is Bible, but now if somebody else say something that we think is smart or anointed, we'll even go against Bible. Well, so-and-so said that, so must not be nothing wrong with it. You know, so-and-so could have backslid just like you. Even though he leading thousands of people, he can still be in a backsliding condition. You know that, don't you? You know preachers backslide and keep preaching because they need the money. Where, where, where Bishop so-and-so said it was all right. Maybe because Bishop so-and-so caught up in it. See, this word I'm preaching, y'all, it's a whole lot of preach. They not going to preach this. They lose half their members because half their members are Muslims. And they in their congregation because they never declare Jesus as Lord. If they ever declare Jesus as Lord, folks, get them leave right then. Get up and flee right then. And then you have folks say stuff like, well, why that's got to be the only way? How come we can't get to God? Don't seem like that found that he the only way. It's some other way. No, it's no other way. God did that. That ain't, that ain't coming from Pastor Cocker. You take that back to your friends. That Bible right there, that's 101 Bible. That's B-I-B-L-E. You hear me? I'm preaching truth tonight. I got to declare this. I probably wouldn't even preach this message. Well, I ain't going to say that. But it need to come doing Bible study. I'm real tonight with this. This is separating. This is going to separate us saints. Did the word, when you preach like this, it actually separates the sheep from the goats. See, God ain't necessarily got to physically separate us. The word separates us. That when he said, let the wheat grow up with the what? And I'll do the separate. Do you know what God doing tonight? He separated. If you involved in something you ain't got no business doing, you better make up your mind who you're going to serve. And you better come out of that darkness. And that's one thing the Bible requires of us when you get saved. You are to renounce the hidden works of darkness. You can't be operating in darkness and tell me you're a Christian. Notice this. I got to get done with this. Whoever denies... The son does not have who? I'm in verse 23 and I'm, I'm stomping this. Whoever denies the son does not have who? Tell your neighbor if you deny the son, you don't have the father. Shout to him at all. Well, God is our father, not if you deny the son. Not if you deny the son. Heard a preacher preaching out there say Jesus didn't die on the cross. Say a man had a knife and Jesus leaned back on the knife and died. Millions of folk falling. If listen, I'm trying to close. This how serious this is. Anything been prophesied, saints, it won't fall. I don't care what it looked like. If it's been prophesied, it's gonna stand. Jesus, I mean, God prophesied through the prophet how Jesus would die. He'll be lifted up. He'll be crucified. He'll be between criminals. See, that's the reason the church couldn't take Jesus and do away with him themselves. You better hear me. Because prophecy was against it. Because if the Jews had killed him, it would have been by stoning. But the word say he wouldn't be stoned. He'll be hung. 